The Arnolfini double portrait, or more commonly known to our class as Giovanni Arnolfini and his bride, is one of Jan van Eyck's most highly talked about panel paintings of its time, mostly because there are so many unanswered questions regarding these two figures. As we have learned in class and from our readings, one of the biggest debates is whether or not the portrait was a documentation of the union between these two figures or more of an economic matter. However, another heavily questioned and talked about mystery is who exactly is portrayed in the painting. During the 15th century, there are at least five Arnolfini brothers and first cousins living in Bruges, and the man depicted in the double portrait could have been any one of them. Giovanni de Nicola was first recorded in Bruges in 1419 when he was linked to a successful Italian merchant. He then went on and sold a number of tapestries to Philip the Bold in 1432 while remaining in Bruges. A couple of years prior to his time as an artist, he married a 13-year-old girl named Costanza Trenta in 1426. After her death during childbirth, it is likely that he remarried, although there is no reference to his second wife. Baptista was Giovanni's younger brother. He was a prominent figure in politics in Lucca and visited Bruges around 1440 and 1441. He was married to Anto Antonia and had one, one son. Bartolomeo mainly lived in Lucca. However, he was brought to Bruges in 1449 to handle business. He was also married. Their cousin, Giovanni, was married in Bruges around 1447. Although there is no documentation on where he lived, he was referenced as Giovanni Arnolfini in Bruges. Michel, another cousin, was a short political career in Lucca. He eventually settled and died in Bruges. What do we know about the man in the double portrait? First, we know that he was married. Second, we know that he was fairly wealthy because of the clothes and the woman and he are, the woman and he are wearing, although along with items surrounding them. Because of the high number of important changes between the underdrawings and the finished portrait, like the added wedding ring and the original finger placement of his fingers, we know that they must have been close to Jan van Eyck. These changes would have required them to be in constant discussion regarding what would stay and what would be reworked. The mystery regarding who exactly these two figures were was first significantly questioned in 1972 when this morganatic marriage was called into question. In order for this to signify marriage, the two figures' right hands would have been joined, but here we see his left hand joining her right hand. A morganatic marriage is a marriage between two people of unequal rank. The identity of the couple was called into question because it was believed that they were of equal status. Aside from being of unequal rank, Research shows that Giovanni de Arago Arnolfini was not in Bruges until the, after the panel was painted and was not married until 1447, a full 45 years after the painting was made, and married his wife in 1426. Baptista, Bartholomew, and Michel were all in Bruges at the right time, but did not stay long enough to create a relationship with Jan van Eyck. Giovanni de Nicolo Arnolfini, however, was in Bruges in 1432 when the double portrait was painted and married his wife in 1426. This seemed like the best answer. However, his wife Costanza died before the painting was made. What if this wasn't a marriage painting? A plausible conclusion is that the portrait acted as a commemoration for his wife Costanza, who died during childbirth. There are multiple symbols that indicate that this is highly likely. First, the gargoyle carved into the wooden bench above the couple's hands could have acted as a symbol of death. Second, a single lit candle above the Giovanni side of the portrait could represent a life, and the absence of the candle on her side could represent her death. Third, the lack of grip Giovanni has on her hand could indicate how she is no longer alive. There are multiple theories on who both of these figures could be, but from my research, I believe the two figures are Giovanni di Niccolo Arnolfini and his wife Costanza, and that this portrait is a commemoration for her life and not a marriage painting.